on this video here by Jaco and Omar. They're taking this investigation to the other level, what they discovered. Can you tell us what we should be careful of? Aliens are here. Aliens are here, but it gets better. They're using a spare box. Is there anybody here with us right now? I am. I said I am. See, it says buried. Buried. Well, it said buried. It said buried. It didn't say a lot, but it said buried. Did I just say alien? Hey, okay, right there. Is that what that said? Replay that back on the foot. Buried an alien. This is the piece that I would throw out at him. There's an excellent video of old world Florida. Florida had pyramids, highly suggested. Also with the Miami Circle in the video that I put out. They're only approximately six to seven blocks away from those sites, the, the two sites that I mentioned. So who knows, once upon a time, because according to this right here, look like a pyramid. Florida's tallest peaks are hills, trash piles, and in the Indian mounds. The early Spanish invaders may have erroneously believed. If you look at that video, and here's his site, because there's a lot of ancient history here. Okay, he put a video out the truth okay this one right here in this video here seven days ago it, it describes aliens they found very race of giants once living in florida recent press reports of the unearthing of a giant human skeleton off cape sable by a party of treasure hunters recalls a story told of a group of giant skeletons to have stood around nine feet tall nine feet tall the size of these bones is strongly corroborated by the earliest European reports of Florida's native people in the 1500s. Same area. The Miami area. There's a lot up here. And also the map of the Miami Circle and the ruins they found in the other site, north of there, on the other side of the river, which is uh, maybe six blocks away from the mall. So who knows, all this area could have been populated, who knows how many thousands of thousands of years ago. Remember, during uh, 10,500 BC, when the cataclysm happened, the sea levels rose four or 500 feet. The sea, when the, the sea level, all this was connected, all this land, where the pointer's at, you see right here, where the circle's at, right across, that's where they found the other site and they dated it back to 7,000 years and it's basically one two three four five six seven eight nine blocks away from the marketplace so who knows once upon a time all this was like a city ancient city so when they say buried who knows in those old pictures you saw pyramids and i highly recommend those videos that i showed earlier let's get back to omar and jaco buried as well there's a shape there's a shape oh my god what the fuck first thing it said what? Oh. Shape shifter. I want to confirm it said that. There is a shape shifter. Wow. You don't need some and it was literally right after I said I, I thought I saw someone. Yeah, you said you thought you saw someone. There is a shape shifter. The thing is, man, like, let's think about this. If an alien were to show up here, right? Like, what's the reason? Like, what's the reason for them wanting to be here in this in precise opinion. location where a bunch Sammy. of people. Where a bunch of people can see them you know okay the reason why is a possibility that once once upon a time that was an ancient city before the great catastrophe that occurred you have ruins you have a video of giants being discovered in that part also that's probably why because once they say buried aliens aliens are here this is great research what these two are doing and they're not too far from the site too bad they can't take those voice recorders and take it the miami circle site and ask questions they might get answers can, can you tell us what we should be careful of aliens are here aliens are here no <gasps> okay i thought that said that is there anything else that you want to portal here okay. portal here portal. portal here is that what that said portal here wow look at the sky behind the portal dude i've never heard that say that i've heard it say things and, like and portal, these you know there is a portal portal in the room or something like that but wow do you know that there is a town that's very close to here you know what the name of it is el portal really yeah like the portal and supposedly it's a really old town here in miami oh my gosh wow can you tell us a little bit about the statements that were made from police Spread. Lies spread. No freaking way. <laughs> oh my god. Lies spread. 
I'm not saying this said it. Okay, I used to follow these guys religiously, you know, because I was always into, you know, paranormal, ghost hunting and all that. And these guys are getting clear response, quick response in that location. I seen episodes, videos of them together. They could go for hours and hours and hours and get nothing. Here, they're getting a lot of response. Okay, so tonight we got, there's a shapeshifter, aliens are here, lies, portal. I don't know what it is. I have such like an uncomfortable feeling right now. Let me know what you guys think about some of the responses we've gotten so far. I think they're interesting. Spiritual. But from what we're getting, I mean, aliens are here. Should the world be worried? Very. Worried. Is it, is it, I thought it said worried. It said very. I don't fucking know. Regardless. Very worry. It responded to you, man. One of the condos that lost power during the whole alien invasion, the so-called alien invasion. Well, that's, that's another red flag, man. It's like, why? If it was a fight inside of the mall, why did at the same time parts of the neighborhood lose power? I don't know. In the airport. I know that there in the was sightings like too. a TikTok right over there, and she was filming, and she also mentioned how she had lost power. I'll provide a link to this excellent video. Subscribe, give them a thumbs up, and wait for the next episode. Like I said, they're not too far away from the ancient site. Remember the Bermuda Triangle. Remember the, there was a video of UFOs flying over Miami. So what do I take from this? What I take from this is... Hot Springs on January 13th. Nestled in the barren and captivating landscapes of western Utah. Located about 140 miles southwest of Salt Lake City. So we're getting more more and more of these giants appearance this was utah and there was i mean we had it brazil mexico apparently they're showing themselves the portals open the doors open this is the year the door things are gonna things look great job omar and jessica great job